Perfect. So you got into it in 2016. In 2017, you had a huge year, 63K. That's pretty great for a freelancer. Yeah. In 2018, mm -hmm. you almost quadrupled that to $273,000. I, that's a huge jump in your income. What do yeah. you attribute that to? How did you get from 63 to 273 in one year? Uh, Fiverr Pro launched, which is um, the top 1% of the platform. It was a new program that Fiverr started to push out because they were um, trying to compete with Upwork in a way because everyone was like, oh, Fiverr's the $5, you know, bargain deal, basement, whatever, mm -hmm. crappy freelancing site. So they launched Fiverr Pro in an effort to appear more like top quality and whatnot. So I was one of the few uh, people that they picked to be part of it. And they rolled it out in 2017, but it wasn't until 2018 when it came out of beta and actually took off. And then that was what quadrupled my income. Like single-handedly, it was Fiverr Pro. <laughs> sure. And, and honestly, I think that strategy, if, if you would, of getting a collaboration with a big company or app is one of the best ways to get that visibility, I find. And it's not always easy, but if you can find apps that are on the come up or launching a new feature... That's a great place to go. And speaking of which, I don't want to get too far off topic. Facebook is just launching their, their own podcast platform. Are you excited? Is that something that you're going to be leaning into with your show? Um, I honestly have not. I'm so new to podcasting still that I like take any advice people have to give me. But um, it's definitely a part of my brand to just take advantage of any opportunity that's within my grasp. So uh, I'm sure, yeah, I will be checking that out. Um, I'm also monitoring LinkedIn that's going to launch its own freelancing platform this fall. So mm. all of these free, um, all of these social media sites are totally going to change, you know, everything, of course, but freelancing too. And I'm getting, you know, I'm like gearing up to almost be a freelancing news reporter in a way on my channels because nobody else is really covering this stuff. So like I did a YouTube video on LinkedIn launching its new platform last week and it's by far my most viral YouTube because no one else is like, you know, yeah. covering it. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm all in on these platforms. I actually didn't know that LinkedIn was launching this freelancing platform. Okay, so that's yeah. pretty interesting. You heard it here yeah, first yeah. after hours entrepreneurs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I want to, I actually want to talk about this a little bit because, you know, when I go on Fiverr, uh, there's lots of people there, right? It's going to be the same thing with LinkedIn. And, and when we're talking about freelancing, and that can be a lot of different things, depending on what your individual skill set and focus is on. How can we actually stand out on these busy platforms? Like, what's a way that we can actually stand out so that we can get hired? Um, yeah, that's, a, that's everyone's always, you know, number one question. And it's, it's very basic sales marketing tactics at the end of the day when you think about it and it's establishing trust with the client as quickly as possible and what are the two best ways to do that by being yourself showing yourself you know showing imagery of yourself and having a portfolio ready that showcases the work that you can do for them these people don't care about where you went to college you know they don't they don't care about people are like oh i don't want to be on fiverr i don't want to look i don't want to have my picture on it and i'm just like that's they're not hiring you to model for them. You know, they're, they just want to know that you are who you say you are. You're not lying about it. You're not impersonating somebody and that your work is top quality and it, it, you are someone who can, you know, handle this job and get it done for them. They don't care if you went to college, even where you went to college, none of that. So it's being very forward facing about who you are and what you can offer them like immediately.